Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this Godzilla model kit. So I just picked these two model kits up recently. Here we've got the classic Godzilla and we've got Mecha Godzilla. Today we're going to open up this Godzilla and take a look at him and then in the next video we'll take a look at the Mecha Godzilla. Taking a closer look at the box, we've got some really good art going on here. We can see Godzilla shooting his breath, uh, there's a nice city skyline back there, we've got a little car for scale, all the fire, looks really good. Over here we've got the name, Godzilla. Down below, as you can see, this is a type of kit that needs no glue and no paint, so they're really easy to put together. I guess the company is Fujimi, the ones that brought this out. On the side we get a good look at the kit. As you can see, his uh, mouth can open and shut, his arms seem to be able to move, and his legs, I think, move and his tail is segmented a little bit. He also seems to come with some sort of atomic breath attack as well. On the other side, same stuff, just the, the same artwork and no glue, no paint. Apparently this is number one as well, so I'll keep my eye out for more. On this side we've got just another picture of the figure. We've got a little bit of English going on there, nothing too important though. I don't know how well you can make out the sticker there, but it's a nice little Godzilla Evangelion double logo, which is pretty nice. And then same stuff on the other side. So I paid about 16 bucks for him, not too bad. I have not looked inside this yet, so let's pop it open together, shall we? Alright, let's see what's in the box. We've got his head right there. Looks pretty good. I think these are all articulation points or something like that. We've got his uh, vampire teeth right there. <laughs> Looks good. There's his claws right there. And these? I'm not sure yet. Are these nails or are these extra teeth? What are they? There's 16 of them, whatever it is. Here's his breath attack. It actually looks kind of interesting. Now it should be noted that all these white parts glow in the dark, so I think once we get them together, that'll look pretty fun. That's his thighs there, and maybe his jaw, I think. There's his chest, and probably his back. His tail and thigh area. They did a good job on the scales, actually. That looks pretty nice. And, hmm, I don't know, maybe torso area, maybe lower area. Oh, there's his feet. And there's his hands. I don't know. And last but not least, we've got his dorsal fins. And they look really nice. Hey, let's not forget his tongue. We also get a sticker sheet, so you can choose what kind of eyes you want, which is a nice touch and then the inside of his mouth. Let's take a quick look at the instructions. There's a paint guide right there if you need it. And this just shows how he pops together. I don't think this will be too difficult of a process. Um, looks like a really simple kit, so should be able to be done in one sitting, I think. Got a nice CG Godzilla. Oh yeah, all his dorsal fins. Alright, that's it. So uh, I think this will be a pretty easy, fun little kit to build. Uh, but first what I'm going to do is review that Mecha Godzilla. After that's done, then I'm going to do a separate video uh, building these guys and reviewing the final product. Um, so if you have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, see you next time. Bye-bye.